Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Drag Race gossip, secrets and drama. Today we're going to be looking at why these six RuPaul's Drag Race queens have not returned for an all-stars season. These include Stacey Lane Matthews, Alaska and Bob the Drag Queen among others. All that and more coming up in today's video, so let's get started. Please note that because we're going to be talking about the outcome of certain episodes of Drag Race, there is a spoiler alert in place for this video. Willem and Fifi O'Hara Willem appeared on season 4 of Drag Race US. Jeremy Carey, who was formerly known as Fifi O'Hara, also competed on season 4 and also All Stars 2. The reason I've combined Willem and Jeremy together is because they were apparently both supposed to be on All Stars 1 together but were cancelled. In an interview with Joseph Shepard, Willem said that she was booked to be on All Stars 1 but was cancelled days before filming was supposed to start. Willem said the reason that was given was because the producers didn't think Willem had any stakes or storylines with any of the other contestants. Willem said she was annoyed because she had cancelled lots of bookings to make room in her schedule and had lost lots of money. Willem said she didn't know the exact reason why she was cancelled, but her theory is because Jeremy had previously been in trouble with the law and failed a background check for an appearance on the show Drag You. And Drag You happened right before All Stars 1, so Jeremy wouldn't have been able to do it, so was therefore cancelled for All Stars 1. And Jeremy is probably the person Willem would have had the most stakes with from the cast because of their feud on season 4, so that's why Willem was most likely cancelled also for All Stars 1. However, Willem did make a cameo appearance on All Stars 1 during Untucked in episode 1. It has been rumoured that Willem might be cast for other seasons of All Stars, but this is yet to be seen. However, in 2018, Willem tweeted saying, Stop saying I want to do All Stars. Why would I want to work with people who treat their quote family this way? Hard pass. Jeremy did end up being on All Stars 2, but has since been very vocal about his dislike of Drag Race and the way he was portrayed, which is why he decided not to turn up for the All Stars 2 reunion. In an interview with Vulture, when asked about RuPaul, Jeremy said, We are just game pieces for her show and she didn't care enough to know who we were. And after mentioning that RuPaul had unfollowed Jeremy on social media, Jeremy said, I've completely lost all my respect for RuPaul. And then in August of 2020, Jeremy tweeted saying, I'll never do All Stars ever because they don't deserve me, but I know the cast of season six of All Stars, dot dot dot, and well, dot dot dot. So it appears as though Jeremy and Willem are unlikely to return for All Stars anytime soon. Alexis Stone. So before I start, I just want to say that this entry is technically not to do with All Stars, but I thought it was interesting so I'm including it in this list as some bonus tea. I'd also like to say thank you to one of my Instagram followers, Jack Fitzgerald, for bringing this piece of tea to my attention. So Alexis Stone is a British drag performer and YouTuber who is very well known and has over 900,000 followers on Instagram and almost 200,000 subscribers on YouTube. Alexis has never appeared on Drag Race, but because she is so well known and high profile, a lot of people have speculated for years that she would appear on a future season of Drag Race. Alexis once appeared at a Roscoe's viewing party where she was asked if she would ever appear on Drag Race. Alexis said that she had been asked to appear on Drag Race UK and also the US version several times. However, she added that it's not something that she wants to do. I was asked to audition. Oh, uh, but I've been asked to audition for the US show a couple of times. Oh. I don't know, like it's not something that I want to do, but yeah. who knows, who knows. And she also spilled some tea and said that Drag Race judge Michelle Visage had once told her not to do Drag Race. I met Michelle Visage last week and she was like, don't do it, it'll f***ing ruin you. Oh. Um, she was like, at least with your content you can edit it. I was like, that's true. So from that it sounded like Alexis wasn't interested in being on Drag Race. However, in a video on her YouTube channel from October of 2021, Alexis showed footage of herself talking on the phone to one of the Drag Race UK producers, confirming that she had been cast on the show. It says in there when all the other things are due, like, you know, letting us know what Snatch Game character you play. And, you know, you're, you've are you got a high profile, so, like, if anyone catches wind that you've been cast on the show, it's going to be a big deal, right? Absolutely, so, it'll be a gap. Um, and from the timeline, this would most likely have been season three of Drag Race UK, although this isn't confirmed. 
But then Alexis added later in the video that she decided to turn down Drag Race UK because she was offered a six figure deal with Balenciaga instead. So it looks like Alexis won't be appearing on Drag Race anytime soon, if at all, but I thought that this was just an interesting piece of backstage tea. Bob the Drag Queen just a quick message before we continue with the video, currently less than 10% of you are actually subscribed to my channel, so please can you just take a moment to hit the subscribe button and support my channel. I provide these videos for free on YouTube and just by subscribing it really helps my channel to grow and allows me to keep making videos for you all. And if you want to get early access to my videos and support my channel further with exclusive benefits, you can sign up to my Patreon and the link is in the description. Thanks a lot and let's get back on with the video. Bob the Drag Queen competed in Season 8 of Drag Race and was the winner. When All Star 7 was announced, which was the All Winners season, Bob was asked by many people if she was going to be on the season. In her podcast Sibling Rivalry, which she co-hosts with Monet Exchange, Bob said that she wasn't contacted to be on All Star 7. Bob said, I want everyone to know I was not busy, I literally just did not get a call, they did not reach out to me. So I want everyone to know, I was free as a bird with its tail in the breeze, I was helping Monet get ready actually. Bob also tweeted just after the official cast announcement for All Star 7 saying, imagine my shock this morning. Bob also released a video on Instagram rating the promo looks of the All Star 7 cast where Bob appeared to give the side eye in an ironic way when talking about the cast of All Star 7. Bob had also said in the past that she wouldn't go back on Drag Race because she has nothing left to prove to RuPaul. However, Bob did end up hosting the pit stop for All Stars 7, so that might be why she wasn't chosen to compete in the actual season. Stacey Lane Matthews Stacey Lane Matthews competed on Season 3 of Drag Race US and placed 8th. Although Stacey has technically appeared on All Stars because she made several appearances on All Stars 4, there is a bit more backstage tea involved in the story. Stacey's main appearance on All Stars 4 was in episode 2, which was called Supergirl Groups Henny, where she was part of each group's lip sync performance. Stacey also made several smaller cameo roles throughout All Stars 4, like as the court stenographer in episode 4, Jersey Justice, and also in episode 5, Roast in Peace, as a fellow mourner during the comedy roast obituary of Lady Bunny. However, it appears as though Stacey was supposed to have more than just a cameo appearance in All Stars 4. Stacey has since said that she was actually convinced that she was going to be part of the cast of All Stars 4, but then was cancelled. In an interview with Out, Stacey said, Well, I was first thinking I was going to be part of the cast. I went through the whole audition process and the evaluation and everything, so I was excited and I was preparing to compete, but you know, it's always up to the network who they want to cast on the show. Then, on the Feast of Fun podcast, Stacey said that she thought she was going to be an actual contestant on the show, but then they told her that she wasn't going to be on the show, but they still wanted to use her. Stacey said that she was disappointed because she was ready to compete. And because of how Stacey had talked about Drag Race, it seemed like she was still on good terms with the show and there was a possibility that she might be open to returning for a different season of All Stars. However, during a live video, Stacey addressed returning for All Stars and said that she would never go back. Stacey was on a live video with Alexis Mateo and Alexis asked Stacey if she would go back for All Stars. Stacey said that she wouldn't go on All Stars because they convinced her she was going to be on All Stars 4, made her sign a contract and then when she was in Mexico they called her and said, never mind. And Stacey seemed quite upset by this in the video, which makes it sound like she was less than happy with how she was treated on All Stars 4. And on top of that, Stacey once tweeted saying, I'll spill the tea one day, what was said to me on set of All Stars 4, why I will never do All Stars, I never forget. Stacey didn't say who it was or what they said, but people in the comments asked if it was transphobia, and Stacey said, not exactly. And then season 6 contestant Darian Lake responded and said, I'm pretty sure I can guess. So it looks like Stacey was definitely cancelled for All Stars and doesn't seem very likely to want to return to All Stars anytime soon. Alaska Alaska competed on season 5 and placed runner up, and Alaska also competed on All Stars 2 and was the winner. When All Stars 7, the All Winner season was announced, Alaska was one of the queens that people assumed might be part of the cast because Alaska has a big fan base and she has previously said that she would go back for an All Stars season. 
However, it appears as though Alaska was not asked to be on All Star 7 and was upset about it. On her podcast Race Chaser, which she co-hosts with season 4 contestant Willem, during the episode where they were discussing the premiere of All Star 7, Alaska revealed her true feelings about not being asked to compete. Alaska said, I was very apprehensive going into the season because when I wasn't asked to be on it I was very very emotional and I was very very hurt and sad by that. So I was like, is this going to be too hard? Is it going to be really difficult for me to even watch and talk about it? And I just have to say that it's really so incredible and I'm so glad that this is happening and I'm so glad that this is happening with these girls. The energy of nobody is going home, everyone is just delivering effing home run after home run. And then Willem suggested that there might be a reason as to why Alaska wasn't asked to be on All Stars 7. Willem said, you know what I've deduced though about them not asking you to be on it? They want you competing against Sharon Needles, and Sharon Needles is not allowed on TV right now because people would scream in protest. So once she is allowed on TV again, maybe in a few years, you'll be back to compete with her because they want that personal relationship between you on display. They want to milk it. They want to use your personal relationship and they can't do that right now so that's why you were not asked to be there. So Alaska was clearly upset by the fact that she wasn't asked to be on All Stars 7 but sounds like she might be open to returning for a future All Winners season. So there you go, there were 6 Drag Race queens and why they have not returned for an All Stars season of Drag Race. Were there any queens on this list that surprised you? And which of these queens would you most like to see back on All Stars? Let me know in the comments. As usual, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you liked this video. And if you could please like, comment or share this video, it would really help to boost the algorithm and promote my video to more people. It's a quick and easy way to show support for my channel and I'd really appreciate it. Please make sure you also follow me on Instagram where I post exclusive did you know fun facts and I also post interactive quizzes and polls in my Instagram stories where you can also interact with other drag race queens and look at their replies. So make sure you follow me at drag tea served on Instagram for some extra content that you won't see on YouTube. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll join me again in future videos. Thank you, bye!